Good morning. What a fantastic campsite. I wish I could stay here all day, but um, I gotta make up some miles. Again, again, I know, but I'm almost out there. I'm almost in Denver. Today I'll be getting to Denver and uh, I'm rushing to Denver to meet up with Kathleen from Van Life Diaries and her partner. And they're in Denver for a bit, but they're leaving and then they might be coming back. And you know, it, it's Van Dwellers, you know, you can't tie them down, okay? So uh, I wanna go see them for a bit and uh, I just wanna get out to Denver, like really bad. It's gonna be so cool. There's so much stuff to do out there. I'm really excited. And uh, Champ's pump too, right Champ? Strong silent type, you know. Doesn't like the camera. Okay, let's hit the road. Officially in Colorado. Still like two hours out from Denver though. I think I've already driven four and a half hours. Uh, I'm losing my mind and uh, went back one time zone so like one of those hours doesn't even count. You know? Just, I drove it but like it's not on the clock anymore so did it even happen? I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna make some lunch. Champ, you want lunch? He's been sleeping back here. I don't know what his jam is. It's like he doesn't like me, he doesn't want to hang out with me anymore. Look champ, we're in the deserts already, they got sand for us now. Alright, wrap sandwiches. Got some of the last of the tofu, fried up. Mushrooms, tomatoes. Um, some pickled uh, eggplant, hot pickled eggplant. Egg, you know, little shriacha sauce. Pretty darn good sandwich. So, uh, my friends weren't really in the mood to meet up. Uh, they're leaving on a trip to Santa Fe tomorrow, so I understand, you know. It's tough, like, especially when you're first setting out on a trip, to, uh, to get it all done, you know. Like, when I was leaving Ottawa, it just felt like it wasn't enough time. Now that I'm on a road, I have time, but, you know, at the time it was very stressful. Um, <clears throat> I just got to Denver. I parked up in a Walmart. Actually, this particular Walmart does not offer overnight parking. Um, it's not on the list, which if you don't know, there's a list online, you can Google it, uh, Walmarts that you cannot overnight park at. But there's signs everywhere, so I assume they're probably not gonna be cool. Um, although I have parked in places where there was signs and, and I didn't get any trouble, I don't know. I'm gonna stay here long enough to like make dinner and do everything I'm gonna do before I crash. And then when I go to sleep, I'll just clean up the van Get it ready to go, and I will uh, drive off to a side street just a couple blocks and just park up. I do that a lot, actually, like, park somewhere cool to do all my stuff I want to do. Be loud, proud, stealth, whatever. Like, no stealth at all. And then uh, when I go to sleep, I just drive up somewhere else and park up and go to sleep. So, it's a good technique. Um, I've only really ever been bothered, like, a few times in, like, the 15 months I've been living in a van now, so... Not bad at all. Um, what I did do today though, like first thing, because the, the Pebble 2 is now out and it's in stores, which is a big deal to me because uh, I can't really ship myself stuff very easily. I just, uh, it's, it's a little bit more of a hassle, so I picked one up. So full review of that coming soon. So far though, it's significantly smaller than the old one and it's much more like, I don't know, regular product feeling. 
the original one just felt like a toy. This one feels kind of like a regular manufactured cell phone kind of product, you know. But uh, the nice thing about this one is kind of it was very similar to the old one. My old one broke eventually. But I, I like about this one over other smart watches, it lasts a long time. It's um, the screen is great, it's open source, there's lots of cool stuff you can do with it. But this one, I got the cheapest model, but it still has a microphone built into it. So you can use it to operate uh, voice commands uh, to your phone. So, full review on that one coming soon. So far, very impressed. Oh, great. I've taken to uh, eating out of the cast iron pan I used to cook. It's kind of a bachelor thing, but also um, it means that I have to put my noodles on top of my sauce most often. <sighs> That's the only downside. Otherwise, it's great. I mean, this pan is just awesome to use, and I've seasoned it well, and I really like it, but uh, it just never gives you the right sauce application, you know what I mean? Oh well. I mean, I shouldn't complain because lots of van dwellers can't cook in their vans or can't, you know, cook such nice food in their vans anyway with such ease like I do. I'm very spoiled. I make no qualms about it. My van, I love my van. It's really nice. It's just very particular about my sauce, you know. Still good though. 